Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. Okay guys, so thank you guys for watching Up and Adam channel too. As you guys know, I am not feeling my best and it's not cute. I'm just really not feeling great. I know that everybody's going to say, why don't you take a day off? And I took a couple days off this weekend, um, but there's a flu going around here where I live and I'm wondering if that's it. I don't know because last night I laid in bed and I had those, do you know those clothes that like when you put them on, they, um, they get cold, right? So they like adapt to like the temperature. I had those clothes on and I woke up in a puddle, like a puddle, which was not good, but I'm drinking lots of fluids, lots of water. And Jason was like, take the day off. And I was like, Absolutely not. We're back to talk about Brandy Glanville, but before we do, go ahead and smash that like button. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. Okay, guys, so we're starting off with the Brandy Glanville and the Cohen of it all. Um, Brandy Glanville responsible for her downfall at Bravo. Thank you to Radar Online, accused of self-sabotaging after Andy Cohen allegations. So what they said was no one but Brandy Glanville is to blame for tanking her Bravo career. So says a source who told RadarOnline.com that she was given every opportunity to succeed at the network and she self-sabotaged each time. As the outlet reported, Brandy Glanville came out swinging with the sexual harassment allegations against Andy Cohen, as well as accusations that NBC and Bravo failed to defend her after the Caroline Manzo incident during Ultimate Girls Trip Season 4, and allegedly dangled a promising career over her head if she settled the lawsuit for the Real Housewives of Miami alum Joanna Krupa. And that was the one that she filed against her. Brandy is a self-sabotager. That's what a source told RadarOnline.com, stating that she had plenty of opportunities at the network. But a source familiar with the situation is shutting down Glenville's claims, telling RadarOnline.com, Brandy is her own self-sabotager. The insider also claimed that the controversial reality star had plenty of opportunities at the network, citing her two seasons on Ultimate Girls Trip, her appearance on Traders, and not to mention her several season stint on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She self-sabotaged herself every time no one is responsible for her downfall more than brandy now radaronline.com reached out to brandy's attorneys for comments but brandy obtained powerhouse attorneys brian friedman and mark garagos who fired off legal letters claiming nbc bravo warner brothers and shed media used and abused her during filming for the beverly hills housewives Brandy has always been nothing less than a loyal soldier for nbc is what the letter obtained by radar Red. That is partly because for many years, Bravo has been dangling carrots to keep Miss Glanville in line. She cited the 2015 legal battle with Joanna Krupa as alleged evidence. Bravo fans will remember that Joanna sued Brandy after the latter said that Joanna's lady bits smelled during an appearance on Watch What Happens Live, and the two eventually settled out of court. However, Brandy now claims that she was enticed not to fight the lawsuit because she was under the impression that her demonstrated loyalty would be rewarded professionally and financially if she bit the bullet. So sources familiar with the situation told RadarOnline.com, this is inaccurate. Now, uh, this it just gets worse and worse because... Obviously, you guys know she accused Andy Cohen of sexual harassment, which is like a big deal, especially because he is one of the big powerhouses behind Bravo. And a lot of people, including Kathy Griffin and people who have been around for a long time, have been questioning how can he be a producer? How can he be talent and a producer at the same time? How can he be running these shows and still be on camera? And that's been one of the biggest questions. And, you know, it seems like it's worked for a long time. But I think right now we have somebody who's clearly pissed off. And also, <clears throat> I'm not trying to take away from Brandy Glanville in any capacity. I'm really not. Um, you slapped Lisa Vanderpump. You said it was a joke. 
You're being accused of this Caroline Manzo stuff. You've straddled women on the show. You, I mean, she's done a lot. I, I'm not, again, I'm not comparing, saying that one thing negates the other and it cancels it out. I am not doing that. But what I am saying is, this seems like an interesting time two years after that to come in and be like, you know what? I'm never going to work for them again. I can see that they're never going to have me back after all of this. So I'm going to make my money. And that's what it feels like. That's all. Oh, okay. So now to continue on, I mean, Brandy accusing Bravo of pressuring her to drop the 2015 court battle. I'm a little bit more curious about that. So what they said was, as fans may recall, the feuding Bravo Liberties reached an out-of-court settlement in 2017 following the 2015 defamation suit filed by Krupa against Glanville. Now, the Real Housewives of Miami alum opted to take legal action after she mentioned the supposed feminine odor of, for a second time. Although NBC and or production affiliates were plainly responsible for indemnifying Ms. Glanville in connection with the lawsuit, Ms. Glanville was instructed not to pursue the matter lest she suffer professional retribution from her then employees. Her lawyers noted that Brandy was under the impression that she would be able to come back, that she'd be able to make a lot of money. She'd be famous again. My question is, is now, are you going to have Brandy Glanville? And these are the people that have like, these are the people that have the skeletons in the closet. The Brandy Glanville, the Nene Leakes, the Bethany Frankel, Lisa Vanderpump, who she has not gone against Andy or Bravo. Tamara Judge, not gone against Andy or Bravo. Vicky Gumbelson, Teresa Judice not gone against Andy or Bravo. But these are the people who are little locked vaults and not saying that everything that they say is true, but it definitely for damn sure makes you think about it. And you're like, is this somebody that I believe? Is this somebody that we listen to? Or is this somebody who is just a bitter, angry, upset because you fucked up. You decided to go film and take things to the next level. Like, yes, production can give you direction, but that doesn't mean you are still the pilot of your own life. You are still in control, and you can still decide whether or not you want to take that direction and you want to take it to the nines, or if you want to reel it back in and be like, you know what? No. Because I even saw Stassi multiple times filming Vanderpump Rules when production would try to get her to do something, and she would say, flat out, no. So I've seen it happen before, and Brandy could have said that too. But Brandy might have just thought, if I'm a producer's darling, I'll get more jobs. And then now that she realized that that train's come to an end, she's like, you know what? Gue Bravo, Gue Andy, nobody's sitting here trying to protect me, so I'm not going to protect you guys anymore. Instead, I'm going to take your ass to the bank and then figure out what the f she's going to do. I want to hear what your thoughts are about all of this, guys. Go ahead, pop off in the comment section. Of course, you guys always know, smash that like button. Show some love. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. And don't forget that we're not doing our Vanderpump Rules After Party tonight live. There's no way. But I love you guys, and we'll see you next time.